intentionally distorted memory, cuckoos, conservatives and progressives. This piece describes and explains the unfairly biased, deceptive, even self-deceptive behavior of a certain class of human beings, cuckoos, otherwise known as Trump conservatives, as well as people brought up on the idea that the purpose of language is to get one's own way, rather than to convey the truth of situations to get one's own way. When we intentionally remember something, our intention either magnifies the memory in intensity and detail, or it spins off or generates alternative imaginary memories through acts of imagination. Alternative imaginary or intentionally based memories are then taken or held to as actual uncontestable memories of actual reality. The words taken as actual uncontestable memories mean giving imaginary memories the status of truth to be used or acted upon as if the truth as if they were the actual and accurate impression of the way things were as the way things are the words alternative imaginary memories refer to self-serving memories memories deliberately departing from the more vividly remembered memories of actual experience created to protect oneself from the expected consequences of actual memories this act of self-protection is called self-deception unfair bias and lying in practice generating alternative imaginary memories means everything from wishful thinking fantasizing and hoping to having the conceit to enforce one's own imaginings upon the world as if one's imaginings were absolute truth and others memories were the deviated distorted ones it's self-deception through the imagination a departure from the truth intended to be acted upon as if true when intentional attention intensifies a memory without otherwise acting upon it the memory is magnified with much less distortion and is amenable to easier memory modification or correction the relative freedom from intentional memory distortion among two individuals makes rapport relatively easy their amenability to imagining the intention behind someone's words and remembering it so meanings fit together makes communication possible listening is openness to imagining listening is receptiveness to remembering listening is openness to and for communication listening intensification of attention and receptivity to remembering opens the communication channel listening is the very foundation of communication this is how intuitive individuals experience higher order intuitive information and communication beyond with or without words or symbols individuals who intentionally distort their memories who engage in selective memory and self-deception find it easier to be in the in the company of similarly self-deceiving individuals they may be called cuckoos because neither cuckoo allows themselves to perceive what they might actually remember they also let each other off the hook and allow substitution in the act of communicating of shared imagined memories in place of actually remembered memories they may then proclaim their imagined memories loudly and often they should be recognized by their confusion of shared imagined memories with actually remembered memories based upon actual interactive experience as cuckoo when large groups of cuckoos get together their shared self-deceptions enable them to form large-scale flocks of cuckoos 
flocks that may appear many places in the social structure. Flocks of cuckoos act upon their shared imagined memories as if those memories were based in personal interactive experiences rather than being sustained by mere shared agreement. Cuckoos don't actually listen beyond their own memories or what their memories allow them to imagine. They also selectively override their own incoming intelligence which comes in through the channel of imagination. Such individuals are unwilling to go into mutual rapport with individuals who can tell the difference between imagination and memory. They don't want to have to face their own actual memories. They prefer their imagined memories, that is, lies, distortions, and self-deceptions. So they can test memory, locked into self-deception through intentional memory distortion, decrying others as fake rather than recognizing and acknowledging themselves as being fake, attributing their own faults to others, especially to other persons, groups, or parties who, co who call out faults legitimately. This is how cuckoos operate. So intentionally attending to a memory magnifies it with increasing accuracy and completeness. Intentionally imagining alternative memories, sometimes called alternative facts, divides attention between the alternative memories and actual memories and actual facts. Divided attention is lower intensity attention. With attention at a lower intensity, self-deception and deception of others can continue, unrecognized or unaddressed. Cuckoos don't like more highly integrated individuals, sometimes called progressives, because in the company of progressives, under their attention, the self and other deception of the cuckoos becomes less and less possible. Instead, the intensity goes up. Since the cuckoos can't take the intensity, they create distractions, drama through transgressions, large and small, misbehavior. Cuckoos bleed off the surplus intensity, the surplus creative attention of higher integrity progressives by means of misbehaviors that seem to demand progressives' attention. So the activity is one of intention acting upon memory so as to avoid integrity of memory, to lower the intensity, and intentionally to enforce a lower intensity the lower integrity of function. It's a wasteful situation. Better for attention to be drawn by imagination to the mysterious originating of things unknown. So that wasted intensity is regathered into integrity. Remembered integrity so that what emerges into imagination may be captured in memory and then made tangible for the common good. That process of capturing intelligent impulses mysteriously received and perceived in imagination, saving intelligent impulses in memory, making intelligent impulses tangible by creative action, that process is a distinct teaching part of something larger. There is a distinct teaching of that process. Though that teaching may take different forms, its root basis or foundation is the same among all. This writing stirred your intuition. There is more stirring possible.